Charles Barkley telling me, telling me, he says, son, you better learn how to score. Chuck, I played with Allen Iverson, Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady, Alonzo Warren, all those guys. Matchup is it there. Just one player, just one player. Michael Jordan. Different level. これは聞いておきたいんだけど、選手としてまずね、NBA っていうのはどんな世界なの？ So my my first year when I I got drafted by the Suns, I'm from Alabama, and you you walk in and then you see Charles Barkley. Oh, 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 So you go through and you see Michael Jordan. He's playing baseball in Phoenix at the time, and you know you're around these guys, and you're just like, whoa. And then you realize when you start playing is that younger you think that NBA sent you so many, so many, Takano level this show, which I see so you, but it wasn't. It was. It was more so the gap wasn't as far once you realize, but they are here. And so the first six months, like the first three months, you in all, like, oh, Michael Jordan, oh, oh, that's Shaquille O'Neal. But I knew Shaquille. Oh, oh, Scottie Pippen. Oh, I know Michael Jordan matchup. Oh, I'm matched up with what suit. But by halfway through the year, you start realizing that you belong. I belong here. So the 自信が出てくる Then you have guys like. Charles Barkley telling me, telling me, he says, "Son, you better learn how to score, or you'll never play in this league. Son, you better hit them first, because if you don't, you're going to get hurt. Then what happens? All these guys just, you know, they help you. I was telling like, I felt like when I first went there, I'm just like this big rock, right? And then you meet all these people, they influence you, and they knock, they do all this to this rock." And the rock becomes something great because you brushed up against greatness and you met great people. That's how I feel my life go has been. Like everywhere I've gone is because I met someone great and they influenced me. And then once I got there, I was like, I belong. I'm good enough to play here. Then you go out there, you play this and that. Then someone dropped forty on you. Then you're like, oh man. Then you, but so, but so that's how it was in NBA. My first first three months, make it short. I'm in all. But when you start playing with these guys, and to this day, like I was surprised. Magic Johnson watched me when I was in college. Michael Jordan said something to me, oh. and then now you go from looking up to these guys to so they know you as Tony, oh. and you know these guys as Chuck. I played with Allen Iverson. Um, oh, oh, oh. I played with Vince Carter, Tracy oh. McGrady. Oh, oh. I played with Sean Kemp, Terrell Brandon. I played with. Charles Barkley, I played in Miami with Alonzo Warren, all those guys. And even to this day, if I walk in the gym, this and that, they're coming down me up. What's up, Tony? That makes you feel like whoa, you know. めちゃめちゃすごいっていうマッチアップしててもう一つだけ選んで、一つだけ、一人。Michael Jordan. ああ、そうなんだやっぱ。何された？ Fast. Tough, strong. His mental was so much. He just had so much confidence. Like, like he knew he can do it. He knew, and I mean, he was the best athlete on the floor. Had the best skill set. <laughs> so, you could not trap him, man. It was the craziest thing ever. We ran a game. We tried to trap him. You knew he was going right. He was so quick, so low to the ground. You could not trap him, man. It was crazy. Like well, the thing I remember about Jordan and Pippen was how fast they were, how long they were. Because I didn't have a problem with athleticism back then. I was a pretty good athlete, but they were at a different level. And then playing all those games, experience this and that, knowing how to play, you being a young guy. But just like anything else, I mean, all players have tendencies. He liked to go right, and we know he wanted to go right, but you couldn't stop him from going right. He was just that fast. He was just that crafty. And、um, he played both ends of the court, so I think that was the toughest matchup. If you ask me, my second toughest matchup it was against Magic Johnson. Magic when Magic came back after the whole AIDS、hi, thing, hi, HIV, hi. he came back. He played. 
he almost gave us a triple double. Magic is also athleticism. It's big. Fast. Fast? Fast? Like, and then when he got the rebound, people. Phew. I cannot. And then that's it. The first time, like, his speed and his size and just his craftiness and how he would just keep his body on guys to finish. I learned a lot from those guys how to play. Them doing it to me, you know. First time I played against him, he kept, we in the summer league. I'm guarding him on the post. Summer league did it, though. Well, back in the day, they used to. They used to have like a free agent summer league in, in California. Chris Mullins, Mark Jackson, um, Magic Johnson. And they had all these other guys on it, too. My first play, I'm guarding him. I'm like, ah, ah. He backed down and threw a pass, and I heard the ball go. It like hit my ear. Chris Mullins went and laid it up. Checked out the game. I sat down. We had a guy named Skeeter Henry. He played, he's had to play a long time ago. Sat down, he said, hey, young fellow, I guess you see why they call him Magic, don't you? That's <laughs> 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 so good. So, yeah, it's so good. Good job. You said that Michael Jordan's power was more than anyone else. How do you think that you can improve your power? You just have to realize that you're special. And, it, and you have to realize, for me, what makes me special? And what makes me different? And then from that, I always had this saying is that um, you work as hard as you can, then you pray, and then those together, it usually works out. And my biggest thing is that they say, well, why, why me? Why me? Why me? Why am I going through? Why not me? Why I can't be the special one? Why I can't be the one that changes the thing, changes the way that people think about certain people? What I started doing was when I would go to sleep, I would always close my eyes and imagine that I was playing. And when I did that, I started this in high school. When I did that, I never missed a shot. I never missed a free throw. I never missed a shot. So when I would go into the game, and I would watch players, and I would watch, everyone has a weakness, okay? How can I get, if this guy's a great offensive player, I got to get him in foul trouble. I believe I can get him in foul trouble. So I would sit here and think about seeing positive images of me getting fouls on this guy to change the way he plays. Oh, so come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. So it's like game plan. Yeah, in my head, before I take my nap, before the game. 10 minutes, wake up, 10 minutes. It's actually meditation. Ah, not all the Yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes. Before every game I did it. I did it everywhere I went. When I went to college, Coach K gave me this video. I wasn't playing well, he gave me this video. And in the video, there's a guy that's standing in front of Kagami, my knee, Watashi Wabo, E Sinchu, E Hito, E Soyu. And I look, I looked at it. I was like, <laughs> more well, than I ain't more. I ain't looking at that garbage. But from that, I realized, okay, positive thinking works. Uh, this situation may be horrible. What's good about it? How can I change it? How can I work through positive? Uh, to this day, I do it. I just saw NBA 選手で。こうまあ、さっき言ってたようにこう,こうじゃん、うん、したらここにいるからみんな自信があるって思いがちだけどでもそのここでも差があるし試合の中でもこう動くじゃんそうそうそうそうで,でもマイケル・ジョーダンはもうこんなあるんだあるんだ,あるんだ、yeah. もう、um, ボーストン・セルティックス、うんうん、ビートでもなディトロイト Beat the hell out of him. He could not beat Detroit. Pistons の Jordan 対策として Jordan に対して厳しくチェックを行いバランスを崩させる通称 Jordan ルールが取られた Joe Dumars was one of the best guys to guard him. And once he figured out how to beat Joe Dumars, he became a good player. We all have these, these giants that we fight. And you figure out how to get past those things, and then you become great. More, so, more. So, but it's always ebbs and flows. But in the game, there are things that happen. Yes, there are. But Jordan was not. No, no, he had it. He, oh, he's human, man. 
あるえわかる yeah, he's human. あわかるんだ he's human. 神様じゃないよ<笑>人間だよ<笑>みんなみんな神様っていうから、ね、he's not a god こうなった時にこうあげるためにはどうすればいいの So what happens when you go down? 試合中に。Well, your teammates help you, man. Yeah, you don't do You're not out there on your own. じゃあチームメイトがこうなってるなって思ったら、やっぱ声かける。Come on, man. What you doing? Like, you can go at him, you can beat him, he can't guard you. When we get down, when you get down in life, when I was down, you pick me up. As much as we fight, you pick me up. <laughs> You need people around you that care for you to pick you up. And your teammates help you get through situations. You look at me, man, what are you doing? Look at the board. I'm like, what? You know, the craziest thing is when you go to the NBA, I mean, everything's done for you. You don't have to touch a bag. Quinn told me, he said, you're going to learn to exhale Quinn Snyder. 